it is huge. It is a real big <coughs> hairspray. This is a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Okay, so it has been about a week since I filmed my part one vanity declutter video, and this is what my vanity looks like now. I've really resisted the urge to make it look any better all week because I wanted to do this video. So we are going to get into it. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with part two of my vanity declutter and organization video. I have left my vanity like this all week long for the sake of filming this video. It's been driving me kind of nuts, so I'm really excited to actually get around to filming this. Let's see, so last I left off, I was talking about needing to go to Ross and getting some more organization containers, particularly for my lipsticks and makeup and whatnot. I found this at Ross. It has four compartments. Maybe I'll take I'll take one chunk out and I'll show you guys. So it has a four compartments around it like this and then one square compartment in the middle. I don't do a full face every single day. Regularly, I only do lip color, mascara, I fill in my eyebrows a little bit, and that's pretty much it. If I have a blemish like I have one right now, maybe I will put like a little dot of powder on it just so that the color's evened out. So I put makeup around the edges, and then I also put beauty tools in one of the little containers out here. I love this thing. This is a silicone spatula for putting masks on your face, especially if you're like me and you like to have your nails longer. It is so annoying to scoop masks out and put it on your face and then you have it all under your nails. So I really love this tool for doing masks. This is a jade roller. I do not use it regularly. And then I have some tweezers and scissors and stuff in there. So I'm putting beauty tools in this little guy. And then in the center, I am putting hair ties and whatnot, which I used to keep in this, but it was always just overflowing and looked messy. So this is what I got. This was great. This was $6.99 at Ross. There might be some things in here that I can get rid of. One of the things that I saw is this Unique mascara. So Unique is an MLM. They're also known as Pyramid Schemes. Some people have pretty strong feelings about that. I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, but that is a fact. That is what Unique is. It's Y-O-U Neek. That's how it's spelled right there. This came in my Influencer Best of 2018 box, and I tried it. It has excellent reviews on there, but you can't really trust reviews from Pyramid uh, MLMs because a lot of times the sellers are going on and leaving amazing reviews so that people will be inclined to purchase those things. I found this to be a very flaky mascara, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. But as a reminder, I am also going to do a part three of this video, which is where I will go through everything that I threw to the side that I'm going to be getting rid of or that's empty. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I'll go through in my uh, part three video and let you know what I think of that. I've almost gotten rid of that a couple of times, so I think I'm gonna do it. Obviously, I don't need more right now. So that's actually really all I can say that I am definitely not really caring to have in here right now. So there's still room, there's still room to cram more things in there. Let's move on from that. This is a styling cream that I've been letting my husband use. He says he kind of likes it. I've got more room in my shelves now because I did finish my May Love Glycolic Cream. Here is my comb. I love this comb. It's sandalwood. My husband bought this for me for Christmas one year. I think I'm going to put this in my tools section. I was keeping all of my lipsticks and whatnot in these containers. I had a third one. I had a second one of these and it's not here anymore so my husband must have gone off with it and I think he did because I was going to keep q-tips in one of them and then he decided he wanted the q-tips to also be covered so he had this little wooden thing and we're keeping q-tips in this. So I am going to put these back in the kitchen. I talked about this in the last one. I wish I had like a tiny little like mini towel bar hanging right here and I could just that would be so cute. Maybe I will see if I can figure that out. Ah, oh, okay. I think I might try eventually to do that. Otherwise, it just kind of stays folded, tucked in the corner of the vanity and looks cluttery. For some reason, this product came with a, a like instruction manual. Wow, it's like telling you all the ways you can use it. 
Forgive my nails, I need to do my nails. That's kind of funny, that needs to get thrown away. Oh, my arm looks huge. I bought uh, yoga classes on a Groupon, and I'm really excited. It was 20 yoga classes for 50 bucks. I've gained 10 to 15 pounds or so ever since my wedding. I have no strength and no flexibility. I used to be pretty just decent at yoga, so I'm really excited to do that. I think I'm gonna do a video where I kind of document the beginning where I first start using the Groupon, and then my progression. I hope there's progression. Here's another tool. I'm gonna put it in this tools portion of my acrylic thing. I was using this tiny little dish for rings and whatnot. I am going to, I think, turn this, which I was using my, for my hair ties, into my, oh, these are, I need to polish these. These have tarnished. Maybe I just need to stop keeping them in the bathroom at all and put a dish in my bedroom on a dresser or something instead for jewelry, taking it on and off. I am pretty good about taking all jewelry off except for my rings. I have <laughs> taken this ring off in months. I am going to wash this and put it back in the kitchen where it belongs and turn this into a little thing that I can keep jewelry that I wear frequently in. This came in my latest Pettiver box. I'm not going to open this and use this for a while. I have a little nightstand like piece of furniture that I keep in my closet in the bedroom which you know I'll insert a clip of that here. The lighting isn't that great but this is the little nightstand that I talked about where I keep stuff so and my clothes kind of hang over it. That gold box right there. That's where I keep all my nail polishes and nail stuff and that lives right there and then I have backup products and things in here and then travel stuff and then makeup bags and palettes and whatnot. Here's where all my FabFitFun boxes end up. I put gifts in there so that's full. If I randomly need a gift I can go in there and usually find one. That's where I put products that are kind of in the lineup to use next. I'm not ready to use this. I have face washes that I'm using right now so I don't really want to break into this quite yet but I will let you know what I think of it when I do get around to using it of course. So this is going to get put into that little piece of furniture where I just showed you that clip. I do have some more products in the hall closet and that's kind of getting phased out because I just recently put that nightstand thing into my closet for storage. This is the box to the Terra Mare eye primer, I like eyelid eyeshadow primer thing that came in my last head of our box. I need to throw this away. This is my Bose speaker. It is waterproof. I use this to listen to podcasts while I get ready in the morning. Although now that my husband moved in with me, I haven't been. I need to set up wireless headphones so that I can continue doing that. This doesn't need to live on the vanity either. It's really nice. My brother got it for me as a Christmas present. I spent 10 years living in San Francisco. The last place I lived was near a street called Clement, which is one of, it's not the famous San Francisco Chinatown, but it's one of the San Francisco Chinatown. Chinatown. San Francisco has a couple of other Chinatowns aside from the real big touristy one. They just have such a large Chinese population so there are little pockets. It wasn't named that but it definitely had the feel. So this was in one of the little Chinese trinket stores that was around the corner from my house and it was on sale for two dollars and I, it smells really good. I think my mother might like it. I think I threw the box away. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this but I'm gonna put it in my get rid of pile because I just don't wear perfume. Okay so so I'm getting contacted by more and more companies that want to send me a product and they'll hope that I will mention it on my channel. And for the most part, I'm just kind of starting to say no because I don't need more things and the value of the product is often not really worth my time and I'm not, it's not something that I want to make videos about. So most of the people want like a dedicated video and I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't do a dedicated video. But this one... These people, I told them I think that they're adorable, but I can't make a de dedicated video about it. I'm happy to, if you want to send them to me, just throw them into one of my videos and mention them at some point. And so they took me up on it. I'll just stop talking and show you. It's these. These are little hair clips, and I just think they're adorable. They are costume jewelry. But I think that they would work really well for somebody. This one's so pretty. I can see, like, for prom, like, high school. These are really, really pretty. And they're only, like, $10. I will put the link below to the Amazon site. I don't get any money. I'm just helping them out. They are very, very pretty. I just don't see me ever wearing them myself. So the company is called Just Be. J-U-S-T-B-E. 
I might toss these into a future giveaway or something. Like I said, I just can't see myself ever using them. And I told them that. I, I was very upfront. They took a little while to respond. I thought they weren't interested any longer. And then about a week later, they said, okay, we'll take you up on it. So I said I would throw it into a video. So anyway, there they are. This is just something that I will pack essential makeup things into when I am going on a trip. And I just went on a work trip last weekend. I am gonna put this back into that little nightstand thing. That's where I keep things like that. And then I had put this into it. I'm gonna do a get ready with me where I use this product. And then this is the e.l.f. powder that I mentioned I sometimes will touch up blemishes with. This right here is my get ready with me bag. It's the bag that I have all kinds of makeup in that I do not wear on a regular basis. So I am going to find a spot for this in that nightstand in my closet. Watch, I'm going to need to make a declutter my nightstand video. <laughs> some point. In my last video, there was a whole bunch of stuff over in this area that I had gone through, but it was still very cluttery. And I had thought that I was going, oh, I'm getting distracted. And I had thought that I was going to get rid of this thing, which I had is like a home office thing, but I repurposed it to keep products in. But I think I am actually going to keep this. I'm probably going to hang Lucy up right here too. Okay. So this is, I don't know if you guys can see, tripod mount that you guys were on. You guys, I, I'm trying not to say you guys so much anymore but that I had the camera on in my last video so I need to put this away I have a lot of things I need to put away over here I have three hairsprays actually and I think I have a fourth in the closet I'm gonna go get that one okay so I have four hairsprays and I really rarely wear a hairspray I have had this one for a very very long time this is a line that they discontinued that I used to really love a while ago I need to choose between these I have Red Ken. This is what the woman used on my hair to do my wedding hair, which I really loved the way it felt. So I went out and bought it. Red Ken is not cruelty free. I bought it right before I made the decision to go cruelty free. Neither of these are cruelty free either. I bought this one before I bought the Red Ken when I was on the hunt for a good hairspray. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos and this one was the highest recommended drugstore hairspray. I haven't yet to test it out. I don't know how I'm gonna choose which one to keep. And then this one, was in my influencer vest of 2018 box. It is huge. It is a real big <coughs> hairspray. I just don't use hairspray enough to need this much hairspray. I think because this one's the oldest, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because the product after opening symbol says six months. I don't think that it's a good idea to hope that this works like it should, so I will get rid of this one. The Red Ken is definitely the highest and most expensive one. I think I'm gonna leave the Red Ken here. I'll put it back here. And then at some point, I need to test these two out and see how I like different hairsprays. This is a lot of hairspray. <laughs> so I'm just putting those two back in the closet. I pulled this out of my closet in the hall though because it actually works. This is one of those products that is talked about all over YouTube where people swear by it and love it and it is true. It actually works. The Oribe dry shampoo for me, I mentioned in my last declutter, did not work. I saw on the FabFitFun forum, it was so funny, somebody said, I think that they just sent me a can of air and that's exactly how I feel about that one. So I am gonna keep this here as well with my hairspray. Let's take these brushes out for now. This is a loose powder that I bought from a cover girl that I'm gonna use and get ready with me. This thing leaks. I brought this on another business trip last weekend, the one I mentioned, and it just leaks. It cannot go on its side. So I can, this is no longer my go-to choice to travel with. I need to clean it. This is a mask and I had put masks on my shelves and I think I wanna put this over on the shelf if it can fit. Yeah, it can fit now because like I said, I used up that May Love tub. This, I want to put 
taller things more toward the back. I talked about all of these things in my last part one video, but this isn't a product review video. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I do product review videos a lot on my channel. So I want to get more of this stuff out of this corner. These are Diva Curl things. I talked about a lot of this stuff. I'm just basically moving it over into this little, what is the name of this? I don't know. There's some bobby pins, which where on earth did they come from? I don't wear bobby pins in my hair. You know what? I don't know where I got this. It's pretty, but it's kind of impractical for holding my hair. The This part is heavy, and then this part that would go through your hair to hold it is short. I think that this might go in a giveaway because it's really pretty and it could work in some people's hair. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm, I've never, I don't know where I got it. It's really pretty though. Why do I have this in my lap? Oh yeah, I discovered some things under it that needed to get taken care of. These are little broken pieces of hair cloths, so I'm gonna put that in the garbage. Here is a little sample. This is a sample of rose water face spray. It was in a Target beauty box. I don't know what it is. It could be hairspray for all I know. It doesn't smell like rose water. I don't need this in my life. I like this stuff. This I got for $5 on sale at Macy's, the Mario Badescu face spray. We'll put it into this guy. Let's put this back down. I do want to make sure I have room for the brushes in here, so I am going to put these back. This one I've had for like 25 years and then this one comes with a t3 featherweight which I found at Costco for 75 bucks So this is for my wedding hairstyle She used two things on my hair and if you're not cruelty free I have no judgment here ever then I would recommend the red Ken iron shape This is a heat protectant and then the Red Ken hairspray. This is what she used on my hair, and I just loved the way my hair felt so much that I bought it. This will go, this is my main heat protectant. A lot of my Living Proof products are heat protectant as well, but this is solely a heat protectant. So these are going in here. My sister bought this for me. It's so pretty. It's just a little box. I'm gonna leave it on my vanity, maybe find something to use it for. Oh, I should put my water bottle in there. Always keep a water bottle for your hair. Now I have oils. That May Love, getting rid of that May Love tub really opened up a lot of room. So I'm putting some oils up here on the shelf and those fit there now. I have these other natural deodorants. I mentioned that this clay dry one has really worked out for me. They did a sponsored video with me and it was awesome and I just love it. I reach for it every single day. But I have these other two natural ones. I am going to just stick right here and I will use those when I run out of the clay dry just to use them up. And then I will be buying more of the clay dry and just using that. I, it is my new deodorant. So there's a link below in my description box. You get 30% uh, off with KK30 on their website. Uh, oh, sorry. This is a little travel one. This is so helpful too. I got this on Amazon. Now I'm just kind of arranging things where they would make most sense. I'm putting my acrylic thing a little further over. Cotton rounds here. Q-tips in the container my husband likes, which doesn't really match, but that's okay. And then this is where I decided sample things were gonna go. I have two of these little old-school drinking glasses. So that's samples. Then I'm gonna scoot this back here. Lucy's gonna hang eventually. One of my bosses, one of my old bosses, got me this gorgeous, I guess it's a perfume thing, and it has a cork top right here. And it's beautiful. If you have any thoughts about how I can make use of this, I would love it. He was a great boss. This is gorgeous. It's thoughtful. I'm sure his wife picked it out. But if you have any thoughts on how I can use this, maybe there's some sort of essential oil blend that I can do. I don't know. I've just never been able to put it to use. I've had it for years. And it's just pretty. These two things, which don't look cute. For now, I think they're just going to stay over in this corner, and these are the only two things left in this corner. This is an eye cream by number seven that I discovered in my old vanity that I just sold because I have this right now and I'm apartment living and I have been apartment living for many years. I can't wait for it to be over. I'm hoping in a year or two I will be in a position to purchase a house. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm working really hard toward it. I just, I don't know how old this is. So because of that and it has a six month label on it, I'm just going to have to toss it. I don't need to replace my mascara quite yet, but I just 
talked about this. This is my favorite Holy Grail mascara. I'm going to put this mirror here. This is a hair tie. I get like the large jumbo ones. So this is going to go back on my nightstand until I need to use it. Oh, you know something? I do want to keep a sponge and that e.l.f. powder. So this is a real technique sponge. And these are like $5.99 as compared to the $20 beauty blenders. Beauty blenders are great, but really $20, mm, I don't know about that. For now, if I can like tuck this in here somewhere, that's not where I want it to live, but I'm just gonna tuck that right there. That's really the only like foundation powder coverage type thing that I wear at all regularly. So that's just gonna live there for now. I'm gonna open this so that it's not just in a plastic, ugly plastic thing. And I think I will put it just with my little samples. So those two things are not exactly where I ideally want them, but I do want them to have a spot on the vanity. Bobby pins, where the heck did these bobby pins come from? I must have blacked out and they just appeared. So this is garbage. This is a oil cleanser. I got this, it's a sample size. I got it in a, a Pettiver box. It is called, forgive my hands are getting kind of dirty. Uh, Kahina Giving Beauty. I use this sometimes. I use this after I do Get Ready With Me's because it's an oil cleanser. I don't use oil cleanser regularly because I don't wear that much makeup regularly. So that's just going to go on the shelf. These are samples that I've gotten from Pettiver. This one I've tried. It's a clay renewal treatment mask and I don't, um, like it too much. I am very picky about the way my clay masks work. Let's see how much is left in it. it smells good. So there's, there might be like one use left. Or maybe I could use it on the T-zone. I will put this over here by my sample pile so that I remember to use it up. This is a one-time use mask. These two came in my last Pettiver unboxing, so I'm showing it to you like I'm assuming you watched that and memorized it. <laughs> anyway, this is a Kalos Soothing Night Cream, After Hours Soothing Night Cream. And then this is a Ursa Major Bright and Easy Flash Mask. This is probably a good month's worth. I'm gonna put that up on the shelf. I'm gonna put this up on the shelf as well because I have space and I love my shelves and you guys are awesome. This is a brush, just floating around. Don't know why. I will put it with my Get Ready With Me makeup bag. I love, I love this. I love this. I'm so happy. Now I am going to get a rag. I'm going to clean this and then I'm going to hang Lucy. Then I will show you the final shot of my vanity. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. So I have been really into Honest Beauty. It's Jessica Alba's company and she's really advertising really well. She's starting to do a lot of makeup stuff. She has an in-house lab and it's just none of the yucky ingredients. It's all cruelty free and I am so into her company. And you can find stuff of hers at TJ Maxx, $2.99. My husband grabbed this. And it's kind of nice that there is a reliable brand where you know you can just go and purchase it and you don't have to worry. Like you do all this research on products so that I can make sure that it doesn't have toxic ingredients or test on animals. I love having a brand where you know you don't need to worry about that. More bobby pins, what the heck? I think that I'm done. I think that I'm done. I think that I'm done. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna show you the final look. Okay, so we have Lucy hanging, and then I did end up keeping and using that to keep things organized. There's my little mirror. I really want to find a little tiny towel rack and hang that right here. I think that that would just be kind of cute. And then there's the shelves. There it is. Okay, 
So that is it for part two of my vanity declutter and organization video. Stay tuned for part three. It might eke into a part four because I have a lot of products to get rid of and donate. I'm so happy to finally have this done. This is now a place where I will look forward to sitting at and getting ready again in the morning. And I will look forward to filming at. I have not been filming at my vanity because it looked so awful. So that's it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Say hello to me in the comments comments below. Say hello to everyone in the comments below. Introduce yourself. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you later. Mwah. Bye!